one. Okay, here's my average rate of change tool. And what I'm doing is a ball bounce, and I put this equation in for my ball bounce. And you should really get, you should get a parabola that looks kind of like this. Make sure your grid is set to rectangular coordinates. Okay, graph, grid form, rectangular grid, so that you can make it fit really nicely together. Now, if I was supposed to find the instantaneous rate of change, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it, I'm going to measure my x coordinate here, okay? And if I was supposed to find it at 0.8 seconds, what I'm going to do for instantaneous rate of change is move my two secant points as close together as possible, and that's going to tell me what the instantaneous rate of change is at that point. So move them close together till it's almost a tangent, and it's looking like as I get closer and closer, that rate of change is about 7.